Hello everybody, this is Dion Manalo Q here, and today this is another fan fiction idea about one of my latest fan fiction ideas, uh, Glitch Text Glitched Out, more or less. The new uh, Glitch Text AU that basically I kind of created that base uh, that centers around not Miko or Fives, but also, but rather Miko's mom. Who in this unit ulti universe is essentially a half glitch. So basically she's a half glitch. She uh she was infected by a memory save glitch uh way back in the nineteen eighties, so back when she was a teenager, and she got infected and was imbued and fused with the glitch, thus turning her into a half glitch, but you know. She really never re realized this until up until recently, where she essentially starts to shift in age, as in she starts reverting back to the teenager on and off. So, and once Miko Fives realizes this and take her to Hinobi for study, they realize that, oh shit, she's infused with a glitch, and that glitchiness sort of is passed down to uh, Miko. Hence why Miko, in, uh, in this universe at least, uh, can't be reset. So, she's also part glitch as well. So, with that being said, um, Mayumi is now basically, rather the teenage Mayumi, is now a member of Hinobi's glitch text as well as, you know, like, her whole thing is that, like, She's a glitch tech uh, as a teenager, you know, her teenage self, whenever she reverts back to a teenager. But since she's infected with a memory save glitch, she essentially has to, at some point, switch back to her adult form where she uh, basically has no memory of, you know, being a glitch tech or any of the recent things she was did as a teenage self. So, basically, it's like her... Genetics, glitchy, quirk, basically, uh, of genetics. Yeah, that sort of uh, allows her to both be a glitch tech and maintain, you know, Hanobi's secret without actually, you know, revealing it to anyone because, you know, she can't remember it herself half the time. So, due to the nature of this memory safe glitch. So, basically, think of, like, the memory safe glitch as a actual cartridge, um, like a memory safe of a cartridge. So basically, with that being said, uh, it's a memory save file of an earlier version of herself, way back in the t as a teenager, and you can't really have a memory of something that's uh, that hasn't happened yet. So basically, that's why her uh, adult self uh, is, uh, can't remember anything about like her actions as a teenager, all that stuff. So basically. Other thing about this AU is that, like, she's, well, as she reverts herself to a teenager and basically, you know, just be a glitch tech among, you know, her daughter and her best friend Fives, she also has a sort of trigger word that allows her to change into her teenage self whenever, you know, uh, whenever uh, Miko and Fives want her to join on a mission, so... The trigger word is old school, which is a also both a trigger word and a actual pun of uh, um, of theirs where you know they keep calling her old and basically it's like who are you calling old and they basically is like oh shit <laughs> and you know she changed it to her teenage self so I was like oh okay let's go so yeah that's kind of a uh, running gag more or less and then also a fun thing about this AU is that like as a teenager Mayumi more or less is a lot more fit, she's a lot more um, built, she's a lot more athletic, and a lot more slightly muscular, so this is before she had five kids, so her teenage self is a lot more athletic, bu athletically built, and a lot of stuff, so whenever she works out, um, and works out in the gym at Glitch Text HQ and then there'll be, uh, that workout and all that gains and all that, um, uh, uh, all that extra muscle basically carries over transformation wise to her adult self and she has no idea where that came from so it's like um was that always just athletically built and what the heck happened where did these abs come from so basically it's just 
a lot of carryover back and forth between her two forms. And then finally, um, there's also the whole thing of her as her teenage self in this AU um, sort of having a huge crush on the Fives because, you know, every girl in the series have a crush on the Five. Uh, Hector uh, Nieves, a.k.a. High Five. So with that being said, and literally, like, Miko's like, don't fuck my mom, dude. <laughs> and literally, is like, at like five is like, oh crap, Miko's mom's trying to hit on me. Crap, what the hell am I supposed to do? So with that being said, um, yeah, he ha he's caught in the heart, uh, rock and hard place on that point, and also like, and literally Mayumi, aka Mayko, because she even has her own nick uh, gamer uh, nickname now. So Mayko has a bit of a, well, she's not really solid about it. So yeah, so. Needless to say, she's hitting on hard, more or less. Hitting on them hard. Yeah, you get the idea. But yeah, that's kind of like my sort of um, glitch text, newest glitch text AU glitched out. Uh, it's a fairly recent one. I posted on both DeviantArt, Fur Affinity, and or uh, even Tumblr. I rarely use my Tumblr for my, po my own posts. So, the fact that I use it on Tumblr is actually pretty interesting. And, you know, that's kind of awesome at how I can use that platform to actually elevate my art. But, yeah. Uh, so, yeah, that's kind of like my Glitch Text AU at the moment. Um, and not to mention that, basically, uh, tell me what you think in the comments below. And I'm taking any suggestions or thoughts or ideas on how to make this one better and uh yeah and yeah that's kind of like my whole thing here um i also have made a couple sketches too along that's kind of the whole thing with my aus i also make sketches along with the writings so check it out on dvr tumblr or uh for affinity for all the sketches of all these various uh aus fan fictions that I have as well as my actual uh, sketches for the Glitch Text AU. So check them out on D uh, DeviantArt, Furfini, and Tumblr. So yeah, that's that's pretty much been my uh, whole thing on um, uh, Glitch Text uh, AU glitched out. And this has been Okinawa Kids signing out.